All right, join us now on Inside TBT, taking a break from studying for finals. Azar Swain is playing for the nerd team. Welcome to the show. Yeah, I appreciate you guys having me. Thank you. Absolutely, man. This is this is exciting. You know, we you're joined this episode by another young guy, fresh out of school, Chris Likes. Um, I, I don't know how much you know about TBT. Obviously, you haven't played it in the past. You know, we want to just start this off by saying, what do you know about TBT? How familiar are you with the tournament? Yeah, I've watched it, Um, you know, the past couple of summers. I'm a basketball junkie, so um, it. I, I know my basketball Rolodex of people uh, is, is pretty, pretty wide. So I follow the TBT pretty closely. Um, uh, yeah, any anytime it's on in the summer, I'm usually watching it. So did you reach out to the nerd team or did they reach out to you? <laughs> uh, they reached out to me. Um, I had a kind of like a friend of a friend situation where, um, you know, the guy in charge of it, he he's close friends with my high school basketball coach, um, Keith Zalaski. So. Uh, me and him are like are like family, so it was, it was really like a no brainer kind of. That, that's awesome, and I know we mentioned it right when we started. Um, there are few guys ever to come straight out of school and play in the TBT. Um, it's a rare thing. It's something the basketball tournament wants to happen often because, like we'll talk about uh, coming up here, it's really good. Obviously, exposure. Whether you want to play in the NBA, whether you want to play overseas, whether you want to increase your stock, whatever the case may be, what what the decision obviously was pretty straightforward for you. Um, how, how easy was it to say, you know what, the TBT this year, even though I'm young, even though I haven't been a quote unquote pro yet, how easy was the decision to play in the tournament? Yeah. It, like I said, man, it, it was a no brainer. And, and, you know, just kind of like the recruitment was easy. And also, I mean, this, this is another chance for me to, to give back in a sense to, to Yale and the Ivy league. Um, that's been like my, my, highest goal my hall of fame in life um to, to be a graduate here um so anytime i can uh represent yale on like a national stage like that um you know i'm definitely doing that because they changed my life you know we mentioned it not a lot of guys who go from college right to tbt not only that you're going from march madness right to tbt so okay. you got a little bit of experience Coming off the game against Purdue, do you think, you know, a matchup against Jaden Ivey and guys like that has you prepared for TBT? Yeah, definitely. I, I know that the, the TBT has a, a, a high level, um, high level players all throughout. And, you know, I, I've seen people, uh, you know, even even higher, higher level people, you know, joining over the past year. Um, so, I, I mean, I, I played against high level competition my whole life. I played with high level competition my whole life. So, um I mean, it's really just basketball to me, and and I feel like we have a we're building a good collection of guys where um, we'll, we're going to be competitive in every game that we play. Obviously, the TBT is a very exciting time of the year. A lot of guys in the summer, maybe they're playing pickup, but they're really just working on their own game. That's something that that Chris likes talked up talked to us about a bunch. What is something that has you super excited about TBT? What are you most looking forward to about the game, the tournament, the players, whatever the case may be? Yeah, um, I mean, not just the exposure of it and getting, uh, the, you know, the opportunity to play against, you know, high level competition and, and meet those guys on a personal level. Um, you know, I'll, I'll also be playing with guys that I looked up to uh, in the Ivy League basketball growing up, guys that I, I may have played with, play again, played against. Um, so it's, it's a it's a special kind of feeling. It's a unique opportunity for me. Um, and. and uh, I mean, I mean, it's just a, it's just a great situation. All the pieces fit together, and and I think it'll be a, a great, a great, uh, great move. So something that TBT likes to do, and we like to talk about it, is they kind of act like you know magicians behind the scenes. They can make matchups happen. You know, big name mm-hmm. players against each other. My question is, if there was a Purdue team, which there is, versus the nerd team matchup in round one. Is that would that be something you would welcome or you would not be happy about that? Um, as long as Zach Eady isn't playing, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the only anybody as tall as that they, they can't play in it. Uh, <laughs> but you know, any, any matchup would be fun like that. Um, you know, I'm excited for the opportunity. It's 64 teams, you know, wide range of teams. So um, I, I'm sure we'll we'll be we'll be matched up with a, with a cool opponent. See, what's funny is you think Zach Eady, me and Andrew, at least me, 
Um, I think Isaac Haas as the biggest dude. <laughs> that I've ever seen. He's the biggest dude I've ever played against. He's the biggest dude I ever shook hands with, whatever the case may be. He's yeah. the same height as Zach Eady. He's maybe not as, as good. Like, they're both mm-hmm. incredibly skilled. But, like, yeah. Isaac Haas is – huge like strong like he's like a running back in a seven foot four body so just a heads up there are there any other guys that you've seen over the past few years that you were like yeah i'd like my shot at him or i'd like my shot at this team nah nah you know i don't don't really think like that personally um you know i I feel like it's it's going to be a you know when the time is right when the when the games are set it'll be cool to kind of you know break down the teams but you know, I don't have anybody, you know, I'm personally gunning for. That's not how I work. It's not Marcus Keene. <laughs> yeah, no. Okay. So you are, you are on the nerd team, all right? Yeah. And I consider myself a little bit of a nerd, rocking my Marvel shirt right here. <laughs> Doctor Strange coming out tonight. Question for you, though. <laughs> what kind of nerdy things do you have besides playing with the nerd team and being at a, you know, incredibly smart school like Yale? Like, what's something that Joey and I would be like, all right, that's a nerd right there. If you told us that it was one of your hobbies, <laughs> man, um, uh, that that's tough. Uh, I feel like I'm a pretty chill, laid back guy. Um, it, I guess in a sense, I play a ton of video games, um, and and really all sorts. And I have, gr- uh, you know, through my years growing up, I was the only child, um, so I spent a lot of time play, uh, playing video games, <laughs> stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm a, I'm a. A normal guy. Everybody's just a person. <laughs> what, what do you? What video games do you play? Because that's the nerdiest thing about me as well, for sure. Yeah. Um. I see. With, with me, I feel like it was a little unique. I played. Uh. I played a lot of sports games. I would build the. You know, my own players and franchises, and you know, really play them out like I, I was living it. So. No, that was that was a lot of my my time spent growing up. Yeah, you're you're like, all right, let me be a nerd, but not too much of a nerd, so because I'm still <laughs> playing sports. When you played, yeah. when you played like 2K and stuff, would you make a my player similar to yourself, like shorter point guard, or were you like, all right, this is my chance to be like a a seven? Heck no, player? heck no. I was always like a six eight wing, you know, do it all type of type of guy. <laughs> you know, it it would really be pointless for me to make uh, a guy a guy like like that in a game like that so uh all right what other let's see we're we're, we're ripping nerd questions off i guess now so <laughs> what what's your major wait I, I got a nerd question after but that's a good question what's your major um i'm an economics major that's i would i literally gun to my head i would have guessed that so that, <laughs> that, that's nothing about you i just feel like yeah I half the team are econ majors yeah i feel like that's a that's a pretty common um major in the Ivy League I'm not sure why especially at Yale no, that's like the closest thing they have to like finance so right you everybody can't be, takes it you can't be a business major right exactly <laughs> yeah exactly we have we I really, have teammates, Ivy like, League Ivy League econ is like you know arts and science or communications at at like a non-Ivy League it's like it's like when Greg Roden <laughs> took basket weaving at Ohio State when he was like a rock and <laughs> no roll <way>. major <laughs> no way <laughs> wait so so my question we say nerd as as a joke obviously like i literally have opening yeah. night doctor strange tickets and the most anxiety <laughs> i've had in the last two years was when the spider-man uh <laughs> tickets weren't working so i'm obviously joking but like no, here's no, my we're deal. serious but like if I, if I was if i was about to be a professional basketball player i'm not yeah. taking my finals when i've already you know declared to the next stage of my my basketball life so I mean you got to be a pretty good kid talk to us about why you feel it is important to take your finals yeah um like I said growing up man the Ivy League and and being here at Yale was my my highest goal you know I never even dreamed past that you know truthfully growing up like I always visioned that as like the highest level I could go um, so it's really a no-brainer. I'm, I'm trying to soak up all the time I can here with people here. Um, you know, I've been able to meet extraordinary people, not only in the basketball program, athletics department, but, you know, all throughout throughout Yale. Um, so really, really trying to just soak up the time here, man. I got uh, a few weeks left till graduation, so um it's a it's emotional for me you know what's the what's the parties to finals ratio for the next few weeks oh man the the finals about to be done so we got a few weeks till graduation uh 
No. Nah. <laughs> I had a I had a friend at Yale, and this is this is funny because I think I'm right. There's isn't there like a beach party that everybody goes to the beach for a full day or whatever, like right after finals? Uh, yeah, it, it might have transformed a little bit, but uh, there's a there's a trip that a lot of people take usually right after um, to Myrtle Beach. So uh, there there will be a lot of people down there. Are you taking that? <laughs> no, I can't. I can't do that. Oh. That, that. That's a little. That's a little much. <laughs> yeah, it's a little aggressive. Um, I know yeah. Andrew's dying me to ask you. Are you into the Marvel stuff? Or are you into movies? Are you into superheroes? He's just begging for that topic to come up again. Yeah, uh, I, I feel like you, you know. I wasn't. I, I never really. I never really gravitated towards it growing up. Like, you know, I didn't really watch wrestling. I didn't watch like Marvel. I didn't watch any any sort of like. I didn't watch Star Wars. Like, I didn't watch a, a bunch of stuff. Um, and that that's just like a product of of my childhood, kind of, and what I was doing on a day to day basis. Like, I mean, now I, I have a I have a ton of friends who you know you know I'm familiar with it with the stuff, and you know they've explained it to me and, and, and things of that nature. So. Yeah, I mean, I'm just a, <laughs> those interests are just, just product of, of my background, just like. If we're in the same regional. Hoop, man, I love it. You just hoop and go to school. And that's if we're it. in the same <laughs> regional as you guys, I'm going to like push you into a room and just make you watch the first three Star Wars movies. No. no. I, I, I fall in the Dude, same. I, I would do it. I would do it. <laughs> I just <laughs> haven't had the time. That, that seems like a, such a time commitment to get like to start those type, type of things, it seems like a, a deep time commitment that, that's, you know. That's always been my problem too. Like that stuff's fine. Like I love the Marvel stuff. Like I've really gotten into it once I got to school. Like I had teammates that were taking me to, to this movie and that movie as it came out, like great. But yeah. I couldn't get into it myself and I love Marvel now, I'm in. But like I, Star Wars, like I, I, I don't have yeah. time for that. I don't, <laughs> I yeah, really, that, so. That's really been the hurdle for me is the time commitment to really dive into it. We'll we'll let you uh, get back to studying. We're gonna cut you some slack here. We know you're not a huge fan of the show because you've been so busy with school, but you have to be now. But yeah, the way we end every episode, and you're a smart kid, so this should be easy for you. We flip the tables on you. We let you ask us the questions and become the interviewer. So with that, got any questions for us? Um. Yeah. Uh. How many games do you think the nerd team will win this year? Ooh. I, I, I'm, sure, I'm sure you don't know the roster yet. That's fine. I mean, like, we don't know the roster, really. We don't really know the team you're going to play. We don't know a regional. But, like, I'll say two. Why not? How about <laughs> two? Yeah, that, that, that's an understandable guess. Well, it's um, you and Brandon Sherrod are both playing, right? Those were the two announcements. Yeah. And then yeah. last year, John DiBartomello – who plays a very similar position as you. My favorite player ever. On the team. <laughs> and those three right there, if he's back, like the nerd team last year almost beat Buffalo in the first round. They were up like 20 at half. Yeah. Like something crazy. Yeah. So yeah, I'll, I'll, say, I'll say one, maybe two. All right. All right, I appreciate it. <laughs> no, I like the one. The one's good. No. <laughs> I, I don't, um, man, I, uh, I should have – Sure. I, if I knew that, I would have prepared some good I'll, ones for you guys. I'll stall a little Listen. bit for you. It, it doesn't have to be about TBT. It doesn't have to be about basketball. It could be about yeah. whatever you want it to. I mean, I mean we're we're twenty five. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So, so I'm oh, no, no. I'm curious. I'm curious. Who 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 are the best? Are right, both of you play basketball growing up or no? Yeah. Yeah. Who who are the best? Who are the best? Who are the best? I'm not sure. Uh, no, who no, who are no. the best best players you guys played against? If you can name one person, you probably have the same okay. answer. Mm -hmm. I, I don't well, know. I don't think so. And not, not like, not like best player in terms of like, you know, long-term, like, you know, just what you think yeah. was like the craziest. Yeah. I mean, Andrew, I've got some better guys probably. Well, pre, pre, pre college. college. Just, just, just like whatever you, answer. whatever you think, like, you know, I have the, two, the best I have, player. You can go first, Andrew. I'll go next. Well, my answer pre-college, I didn't play in college is, is Jalen Brunson is the best player wow. that I played wow. against. But like, I, Played against him in like a three on three tournament, or like I wasn't really. We won. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I wasn't really in the I game we, at the same time as him. We played yeah. you in that? Yeah, the seventh grade one. Yeah. <laughs> me, me, Jalen, and Griffin Bame at Northwood. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. We, beat, we beat Luke, David, and Iden, I think, unless you yeah. played with Iden. Yeah, that was the whole so my answer. My answer is Jalen. That's yeah. a good answer. I mean, my answer could be Jalen too. We were, I, I was teammates with him growing up and stuff. Um, right. And like, 
uh, he's he's been on it. We have a, a a different show that like that's how we got into TBTs from our other show. And like Jalen's come mm-hmm. on that a bunch. Like he's around. We're good buddies, whatever. But so that's an easy answer. I won't use that one. I got a few in high school. Yeah. The week the weekend after Tyler Eulis committed to Kentucky, we played against him. Um, and uh, me and him knew each other a little bit growing up. We played against each other and. He was he was okay in the first half, and I I, I kind of outplayed him, but like he wasn't trying, you know. Yeah. And yeah. then uh, he ended up having twenty points in the second half, and they won, um, beat our <laughs> high school team. So and he just murdered me. Like I was, they had a mixtape yeah. of me like doing a full circle. Like yeah, it's now Tyler. Tyler, this was the truth in high school. <laughs> oh my god! So that's yeah, the first that guy that comes to mind. The other guy is college Denzel Valentine when he won the Naismith Player of the Year was yep. the best – he was the best basketball player I had ever seen on a court. Like, even – I played at Ohio State, and wow. Coach Mata came into the locker room after and was like, that's the best player I've – he said in the in the media after, he said, that's the best player I've played against since I've been coaching Ohio State. So, like, he, he was nuts. But, like, he doesn't wow. count. Tyler Eulis counts. Like, that dude yeah, – Yeah, I know what you mean, yeah. Oh, Damn, my God. That's what about you? Wow. Uh, see, I have, a, I have a go-to answer for this. And, and you know, I, I grew up – I played on the Adidas circuit. Um, you know, I played, I played two years on 17U. Um, and, you know, I played against a ton of people like like Peyton Pritchard. I played against the Ball Brothers when they were, you know, when LaMelo was like 5'9". You know, they, were out, they were out in Las Vegas. They had beaten like the Atlanta Celtics who had, you know, two high-level guys on the team. I think it was like Kobe Simmons and uh, – and uh, uh, what's the dude who went to Michigan State? Um, Lang, Langford? Lang, Lang, oh, he's been, yeah, he was Langford. hurt. Jeremy Langford? What did you say that again? Jeremy Langford, right? Jeremy. Yeah, 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 probably. Um, but yeah, I, I played against uh, those guys. I played against um, out there the same same tournament. I played against Bam and Dennis Smith Jr. They were on uh, Team Load in North Carolina. Um, played against Jalen Hands. Played against um, a, a lot of guys. But you know, growing up, we 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 were like the, you know, we were the top team in the Adidas circuit, and we were like you know, nationally ranked in the, you know, top three teams pretty much because we had a great defense. Like all those guys struggled against us in, in those particular games. But there was there was literally one like ranked guy that there's there's only been like one that really got off like against our team. And it was Romeo Langford. He gave us like oh, we beat them by like 25 and he, he gave us 30. He gave us like 35 in, in the Adidas circuit. And we were trying everything to stop him. We were like a great defensive high school team. We used to really like you know, like we used to have schemes and all types of stuff. Yeah. And you know, we couldn't we couldn't do anything to stop him, man. He was doing it so effortlessly too. I'm such a yeah. I'm such a Romeo hater. I gotta stick to my guns, even though I'm sure he's a why, nice why guy. is that? Because like I played against him in college and he did nothing. I don't know. And yeah, he was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you know, when he was coming into Indiana, like everyone gave them like the Big Ten championship just because of this one mm. guy. And I know he's the truth. Like he's the I, I get it. Like he was great. Yeah. Was, and he had like a thumb injury or something too in college, but yeah. But yeah, I'm yeah, just he's, he's, been bad, he's been battling injuries for a while. But that's like I, a one dude I, I always re- I always remember that. Yeah, no, I mean, I know how great he was. I just have too many and Andrew knows. Like we're from Chicago and everybody from Chicago goes to Indiana. So like mm-hmm. we have <laughs> so many friends that just worship the ground that he walked on and and so for that reason is why I just like well, you, you get it. It's like Yeah, it's no, like, I understand that. It's like Seth Towns. Like you don't like Seth Towns, you know? Seth Towns. I have no problems with Seth Towns. <laughs> <laughs> I got I got yeah. one final question for you, then we'll let you get out of here. So you're from yeah. Massachusetts. Do you know Raphael yeah. Putney? Who went Raphael to Putney? Yeah, he's a little little older. Uh, that name older. sounds like familiar. twelve years older than him. <laughs> yeah, probably. No, probably. that name sounds familiar though. I, I'm not I can't put a finger down. He played at UMass, he's in TBT, great G League player. One of my favorite players okay. in TBT. So I just thought maybe yeah. your paths would have crossed. But now I want you guys to play them in the first round. So be like, he be like <laughs> he's, he's probably like two feet taller than you. And that's not like a like a short really? joke. He is yeah, the yeah. tallest person in the world. Well, he's got like yeah. – he's like seven foot with like a seven foot six wingspan. Like he just blocks everything. Wow. Well, yeah. Yeah. That's but, crazy. Anyway, all right, man. You got any other questions for us or should we let you go? <laughs> no, I didn't, I didn't come prepare for it. No, but I appreciate you guys having me for real, though. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. This was a blast. Man. This was we'll great. Have you, we'll have you back on here after you guys win that first game. We when we get to do in person stuff <laughs> with you guys, we'll, we'll have you back on. For sure, for sure. All right, see you, man. Thanks. All right, yeah, thank you. Blacking out early. That's the shot I don't like. Been getting.
getting paid since I was riding on the bike. Hit the pedal with the eighth, hopping on the ninth flight. I've been chilling out of sight. I'll be at the bar tonight. Told the bartender, go and take my car to swipe. You try the same thing, but your car get declined. White rappers nowadays know we're not too hard to find. I'm so dapper with my ways, I'm gonna linger in your mind. Always told me good things, welcome to those who are patient. But I've been way too patient, riding bars in my basement. I'm anxious in the real world. It's time for me to say this. In my mind, I can't waste it. My life is too safe. It's my time for it's taking. I'm baking my mind every day. It's the same ish. Lazy, my grind needs to get a new facelift. Coming from the underground and busting through the pavement.